thanks for stopping by on today's video. We're putting on these GP shorty exhausts onto the Indian Scout. And these things are only like 130 bucks on Amazon. And they're gonna transform the way this thing sounds. Uh, that's one good thing about this Indian motorcycle is that you don't have to go out and spend, you know, a grand on a good exhaust system. This is gonna be just fine. And if you don't change out the air box or anything like that, you don't have to do any tuning or anything like that. You can just run the exhaust the way it is. This thing has plenty of power. I don't really need to put a new air box or anything like that on it. So we're just gonna be doing this mod. So it's really cheap and easy and it's gonna sound great too. So I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps right now. All right, so we got these little GP shorty exhaust right here. And these are made by Radiant Cycles. There's a couple different brands on Amazon, eBay that you can find it from, but this is like the main company that started making these. So they're a little bit more high quality, I believe. And I mean, just the logo itself is a little bit more high quality. But we're gonna go through and put these on today. And what I've already done is went through and sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on the connections right here where they go together. That right there is usually, uh, from what I've been seeing on other videos, that's what gives people trouble trying to slide these things off. So I went ahead and sprayed that probably about an hour ago, let it penetrate in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I haven't loosened anything up on this yet. So you're gonna be seeing it from a firsthand experience of brand new from the factory, removing the stock exhaust. And I've only put probably 150 miles on this bike. So you're seeing it from a brand new standpoint. gonna go through and start loosening stuff don't really have to go in any order or anything right there loosen up these exhaust clamps that's enough then you have a couple that are down here that hold the rest of the exhaust on so you got this one and then there's one you can kind of see the head of it right there so we have to undo that all right to take these bolts off it's a half inch wrench Hopefully these ain't too tight. There we go. Right, so that's the bolt. Neither one of these were too tight. It's pretty tight against the swing arm. There we go. A little bit of force. All right, we're gonna take this last bolt off that keeps these things together. That way we can wiggle them independently. It's gonna make it a little bit easier. Yeah, they're definitely moving. I'll show you the fitting up there. How it's kind of wiggling loose. One of the mufflers off, that wasn't too bad. It's a little bit of a shimmying it around. And I will say this thing probably weighs a good 15 pounds. So you're gonna be losing a lot of weight on this bike. That's gonna be a good thing. Let's get the other one off. Right, let's get the second one off.
little bit of a workout. All right, here it comes. All right, that's number two. So there we go. I will say, you gotta jimmy that thing out a little bit. It will wear you out just a little bit, but you, you guys saw it in real time, so I'm not uh, editing that none of that out. So it's uh, real time. But uh, a lot of people, this is one of the things that you're gonna have to consider. This little bracket right here is a little ugly because these shorty exhausts, they're not gonna go that far back to cover all this up. So that's one thing you're gonna have to look at. Do you wanna you know, cut that off? Personally, I'm not gonna cut it off because I kinda like the stock silencers and maybe one day if these are just too much, may end up going back to that. So that's just one thing you have to consider if you're gonna run these forever and don't care about the stock exhaust, you could go ahead and cut that off. And it's gonna look a little bit better, but we're just gonna leave it. All right, I'm gonna take this back off and we're gonna do a sound test with this just straight piped. You gotta hear what this bike sounds like straight piped, obviously. So we're gonna full send it on this. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot louder. was extremely loud uh, hopefully these uh, silence that down just a little bit if not we're gonna run that silence here for sure because that right there was just extremely loud all right let's put these shorties on see what they sound like all right so with these you have a couple different options you can run these you know straight on like that some people run them out to the side I don't know which one I like Kind of like straight down. Yeah. Or to the side. Let me know in the comment box which one you like the best. Because it is just a matter of personal preference. Let's do it. What do y'all think that? that well, I kind of like out to the side I think it adds a little bit more character with the open open slots kind of sticking out so that's what we're gonna do and then we're just gonna tighten down these clamps that should be it I'll try to hide these clamps best I can a sound test with no baffles you can see no baffle and then we're going to do one with the baffles just to give you guys a little bit of uh insight on what both sound like loud let's uh try it with the baffle and i think it's got to quiet it down quite a bit all right so these do come with little baffles they kind of just slide in the little slot here and then there's a little 
screw there. I'll show you on this one. But there's a little screw. Take a little, uh, let's see, 5 16 wrench, and you'll be able to tighten that down. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna do the sound test with the baffles in. What you think in the comment box i think with the baffles in i think it sounds a lot better without the baffles it's a little bit too much it's uh got too much of a i don't know just a real cracky sound to it at the top end but yeah we're gonna run the baffles in it all right guys if you like this video like and subscribe i'll catch you in future videos